The East through turn three and come to the line. Off of turn number four, the green flag flies. We'll give it another shot. Well, they go three wide one more time. Blake down the first straightaway and down into turn one as they race for the lead. The top five, six cars shaking it up. Jason Johnson up into the third spot now, but John Egan will lead him down into turn three and four for lap number one. Tony, Jason Johnson wasting no time at the 41, looking to take second at the line. He started sixth. He'll be third at the line, but right on Dave Hall's tail tank. Well, as a good battle goes on, Blake for the second spot. They'll mix it up there for fifth and sixth as they work through the pack, shaking it up now. Three wide again off turn two. Nate Benhafton coming to the inside. They'll go three wide down the back straightaway. Here comes Joe Beaver on the high side. Beaver running in fourth, trying to reel in Dave Hall. They were battling for the third slot in points, a points implication battle into turn number one. Good battle into turn number one as they race to turn two. Joe Beaver back to the bottom side of Dave Hall for the third spot. Wheel to wheel, down the back straightaway toward turn three. Beaver with a half a car advantage now, a full car length through turn four in the third spot. There is that battle for fifth. Randy Martin, the yellow, car number 14, right around the bottom side, but here comes Russ Hall. He'll bring Nathan Hafton with him down the first straightaway. Russ Hall with a couple of wins last year, trying to reel himself in another win this year. Looks for the slide shot, not able to clear the 14 of Mark. Now Nate Van Hampton going to capitalize. Well, he lost some ground coming off the high side of turn two. Blake, the fast line is always off the bottom of turn number two. He opened the door for Nate Van Hampton, but he shut it back in the bottom of turn three. He'll slow Van Hampton down, and this time Russ Hall, he'll go to the top side of turn one, trying to get a run on Randy Martin. Well, Tony, this is when things start to get a little spicy. Lap traffic just in front of your leader, John Hagen, as we work into turn number one. Heavy lap traffic in front of him. That battle still rages on off turn four now. Russ Hall gets by Randy Martin for the position. That's the race for the fifth spot. Jason Johnson closing in now, too, making three curlings off of turn number four. Tony, your race to the top spot. Here comes Jason Johnson. He'll pull to the tail, take a hang in turn one. Your race is for the lead. The leader, John Egan, the car number four, right on the bottom of turn two. Two cars down the back straightaway, lap cars between first and second. Jason Johnson, diamonding from the top, right through the middle of turn three and four, trying to get around them. Five cars around your leader off turn four. Oh, doctor, it's getting wild out there. Can John Egan hang on? Jason Johnson trying to close in with four. Four laps to make it three laps to go. Johnson losing ground down the back stretch. Well, not many to go. John Egan had better get on her as he works through three and four because Jason Johnson is on the move back there as they work through turns three and four. He was close a week ago, as you said, but tonight, John Egan on his way to victory. Getting redemption from last week. He'll run the top side of slap cars, make contact and off at turn number four for the first time this year in victory lane. It's John Egan. We were really, really nice last weekend and, and had a, a torsion bar break there. And yeah, kind of got your hands full when you do that. And you know, he, he could have, should have, would have. You can't, you can't say we had that thing wrapped up by any means. I mean, Wayne's the fastest 360 in the country right now. Uh, so it felt really good, you know, leading him that many laps. And then we were real nice last weekend. So it, you know, it feels like we let one get away when that, uh, that part broke. But you never know who's behind you and where they're at. I mean, I peeked up at the scoreboard once or twice going down back stretch, but you don't know how close they are. You know, he's, uh, Jason's always super, super tough and real fast no matter where he's at. So, you know, he's going to be coming. Uh, yeah, I mean, this this whole start in 24 cars at Knoxville this year with uh, with a car count that's down, uh, you getting some back markers that are a lot slower than you are. So it, it makes it interesting. And I don't know if you saw it there. We, we rolled right across the scales because we didn't have any brakes there at the end. I just lost them right at the end. So, you know, that kind of gets uh, makes your hands a little bit full. But uh, it, it felt really good. I got the car free a little bit from time to time. But but seemed like we were getting through the traffic all right. So I, I didn't feel too bad about it.